Welcome to DowerChin.com. Today we're going to take a look at a mini Bluetooth keyboard with a touchpad. I ordered this from Amazon from a company called Jellycomb. And, well, if you can see from this picture here, it is uh, a side-by-side -side keyboard with a touchpad in the middle. So let's take a look at what you get in the box. A little uh, card here from Jellycomb. About the warranty. Let's take a look here. Nice wrapped keyboard. Anything else inside? Let's take a look. And with the charger, so it's a it is a micro USB, which is nice. And looks like a Chinese manual. And it's got some English in here as well, so that's good. So it's in it's both languages. So it's kind of handy. So let's move to the side. Take a look at this thing. All right. So what we can see is it is a nice small keyboard. It works with Windows and iOS and Android. Nice thing about that, you know it works for Windows because it has function keys. That's very important. If you're looking for these small keyboards, a lot of them sometimes don't have function keys. So this is very, very important and it has them, so it's great. It says actually relatively, relatively thin. Here's we have on the side here the charging port in here. Not much else on the side. We have a switch here and a Bluetooth pairing. So this must be the on-off switch and this is the pairing button on the side here. So a nice little touchpad in the middle, buttons, looks like you get a four-way cursor over here, mouse buttons, and can you get some LEDs up on top for indicating Bluetooth, I'm not sure what the other ones are, battery indicators. Alright, so let's hook this up and pair it up with the device and see what it's like. Okay, so here we have my Samsung Galaxy Note 12.2 Pro. And we're going to sync up the Jellycomb to it. So first things first, we will go to my settings. Now, I recently updated this to Lollipop. So I don't suspect it to be any different running in KitKat. So we're going to go to Bluetooth. And I'm going to turn this guy on. And I'm going to hit the Bluetooth button here. So it was in the pairing mode, so the light, light, light is up. So we will, let's see, we'll scan and see what shows up. All right, Bluetooth keyboard. Hit that. All right, connecting, and it's connected. So let's see what we got here. Let's see here. We got, uh, oh, all right, here we go. Let's search key. Search button down here works. Let's see. Hit the FN home key here. There we go. So the FN home to get back. Let's see, yep, the touchpad works. As you can see here, I have my touchpad here moving. So I can tap, open up some folders here, tap out of that, run applications. So yeah, there it works. So let's see, I can run stuff like that. I'll go into, you know, click that to run it. Hit the FN home key here to go back. There we go. So then the FN F12 here and F11 and F10 basically toggle the the various uh, volume functions. So the media keys all works here, but uh, a little bit quirky. You have to go hit the FN to get that, but that's okay. The win button doesn't do, doesn't really do anything. The win button actually brings up the search. So and let's see. Let's get back to here. And then the magnifying glass actually brings up the actual search as well. So, uh, so it's kind of cool. So the mouse works. The mouse, I mean, the mouse trackpad here works, which is really kind of nice. And the cursor keys here will will go between the various icons on my desktop. So that's pretty cool. Really nice. So all right, I'm gonna go and pair it up to a Windows machine now, and we'll see how that works. Okay, so here, here I have my Surface Pro three. And we'll go ahead and pair this up with my device here. Go to my settings, go to uh, uh, devices, and go to Bluetooth. Turn this on. I want to hold the Bluetooth button down for a moment. Oh, that didn't do it. Let's... Oh, hmm. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, so we see that it's now blinking, and it actually found the Bluetooth keyboard. We'll pair it up. 
Okay, now installing the drivers. Usually in a few moments it'll be working. Oh, okay, we see my trackpad is now working. And the keyboard is working. So I get the win key to go back and forth. So the the trackpad does support two finger scrolling. There you go. That's pretty nice. And then uh, I can go and now use it to launch Edge or other, or other programs. Now, in some ways with a tab like this, uh, you may not necessarily have to uh, need a trackpad, but sometimes some programs be nice to have a trackpad for certain certain functions. I mean, touch may not be well, may not be appropriate. Who knows? It's uh, something nice to be able to have. Typing's a little bit isn't bad. It's a little, it'll take a little bit of getting used to because of the, of the split nature of it. I can see here we go. I loaded like like my blog here, and you can see once it's loaded up, I should be able to start scrolling. There we are. I can start scrolling. So it's very very cool. So then uh, the middle key here is a is a cursor key, so you can you can use it to scroll. The space bar is split in two, so it's kind of interesting. So you you can actually tap the space bar with either right or left hand. So it's kind of kind of handy. The uh, control shift and stuff are in places at the bottom here. Uh, and then there's a caps lock over here, which actually illuminates the second LED. Uh, just to quickly talk about other LEDs over here. There are uh, two, uh, four LEDs on top. You got the left being Bluetooth. You got the caps lock, then a full charge and a charging one. So if I were to plug it in, and nice thing, nice thing it uses a micro USB cable, so no more fiddling around with other kinds of cables. So I plug it in, the red LED goes on, and then once it's fully charged, the third LED will go green and uh, it represents that it's fully charged. So, all right. So I'm going to take a look at uh, comparing it to some of the keyboards I have, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll conclude. All right, so we're looking at uh, some other keyboards I have flat lying around. Uh, some folks have seen me use this keyboard. It's a uh, re keyboard. It's actually kind of nice, a little compact keyboard. And a little more extreme example of a keyboard is my folding keyboard, my little Targus, uh, which actually still works pretty well. So, you know, if we want to compare this, uh, obviously, it's a, this is a little bit bigger than than the re. Uh, however, the 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 jelly comb is a little bit thinner, and nice thing about this uh, is that the, this uses a micro USB as opposed to the mini USB, which is kind of, kind of a pain uh, that I have to you know, carry a special cable just for this nowadays, and everything else I have is micro USB. So sadly, it's kind of showing its age in that sense. Uh, now, of course, this lacks a trackpad. One thing this does have is as backlighting, which is kind of nice in some instances. Uh, but you know, the, this keyboard has its uses, and this actually is going to be a nice little replacement for it. The keys are a little bit bigger on here, but there's no spacing between them, so it's a little bit easier to kind of klutz and roll over certain things. Uh, now, obviously, if I compare it to like a traditional type of keyboard, like this, flo this folding keyboard, you know, this is obviously significantly larger than the Jelly Comb. So, you know, it's, it's going to be kind of depending on what you want to carry with you. Obviously, this folds up. Even folded up, it's still pretty, pretty sizable in comparison. So... There you have it. As a look at the Jellycomb Bluetooth keyboard with trackpad or touchpad. Uh, if there's any questions about this thing, you know, please let me know. Oh, and uh, uh, you know, to be nitpicky, the one thing that uh, build quality is a little, little questionable sometimes. You saw that part kind of popped out. Uh, not, not a major thing. Once again, it's, it's kind of plasticky. The obviously one thing is missing is is uh, backlighting. But for a keyboard that's only 20, under twenty dollars. It's still pretty, pretty nice to have around. It's uh, got a lot of utility. So, uh, so once again, if you have any questions about this thing, something you want to see that I haven't sh talked about or shown, please send me some feedback or subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.